so the redox reaction you can explain the reduction and oxidation in three ways three different ways So explaining oxidation and reduction in three different ways. Number one, uh, you can use electrons. Number two, you can use oxygen. Number three, you can use oxidation number. So it can be in terms of electrons. It can be in terms of oxidation number or oxygen first. or it can be in terms of oxidation number if you're explaining in terms of electron or oxygen or oxidation number in terms of electron it's a loss of electron we call oxidation so oxidation is a loss of electron and reduction is a gain of electron In terms of oxygen, oxidation is an addition of oxygen and re reduction is removal of oxygen. In terms of oxidation number, oxidation is increase in oxidation number and the reduction is decrease in oxidation number so these are the changes in terms like definitions in terms of electron oxygen or oxidation number so you will find a very common question related to this part like identifying the color change as well as identifying the change as oxidation or reduction so if I say chromium is there, which is plus six, it reacted with say fluorite ion, and as a result, it formed chromium plus three and fluorine molecule the three colors which you have to learn one is for manganese plus seven it's purple plus two is colorless the second one is chromium uh, plus six is orange or yellow and plus three is green and the third one is iodide i i minus one that is colorless and iodine molecule is brown or yellow so the first part of the question like if I say identify the oxidation, which substance oxidation happen? So which substance is oxidized or oxidation happen so when we check the oxidation number that is plus six change to plus three so if a plus six changes to plus three it means this is a decrease in oxidation number and fluorine it is minus one and it turn, turn into because the element it is zero so minus one becomes zero it means it is an increase in oxidation number so what we call chromium plus six become chromium plus three oxidation or reduction 
there's a decrease in oxidation number what we call this change if the oxidation number decreases or the charge decreases what we call this change so this one is decrease in oxidation number we call that as a reduction that's right an increase in oxidation number we call that as oxidation so which substance is oxidized here so which substance fluoride ion because that is the one so fluoride ion is oxidized it was a fluoride ion turned into fluorine molecule the second one which substance is reduced So which substance is reduced <coughs> the chromium it was plus 6 here as you can see and it turned into plus 3 so we will say chromium plus 6 is reduced as the plus 6 changes into plus 3 and what are the what is the observation what we will see or what we will observe So when this reaction occur, what we will see or what we will observe? So chromium plus 6, because some of the elements they show a color change. So chromium plus 6, it is uh, orange or yellow. And chromium plus 3 is green in color. So what is the observation? We will observe that the orange or the yellow color will turn into green this is observation when this reaction occur is it clear any doubt till this point Then sometimes they ask identify the oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Oxidizing agent also known as oxidant oxidizing agent is a substance which help in oxidation we call that as oxidizing agent and reducing agent or reductant the substance which so the substance which help in reduction we call that as reducing agent so when we check here like example you can see what happened to chromium chromium is plus six chromium plus six changes to chromium plus three so chromium plus six changed to plus three it means chromium is reduced but why the chromium reduced what is the substance which help chromium to reduce so which substance help chromium to reduce or which substance the chromium react and it reduce so chromium reacted with what the chromium reacted with fluoride ion so what we say we will say the fluoride ion is actually a because chromium is reduced so chroma fluoride ion is helping the when it is reacting it is helping the chromium to reduce so we call that as reductant so substance which help in reduction we call that as a reductant and same way when we check fluoride ion fluoride ion turn into fluorine molecule so it means it is oxidation or oxidation happen here so fluoride ion is oxida oxidized or oxidation happen but why the fluoride ion oxidized because it is helped by the chromium so we will say 
the chromium is acting like a reducing oh sorry it is acting like an oxidizing agent so simple way to remember the substance which is oxidized it is actually a reducing agent agent or reductant and the substance which is reduced is acting like an oxidizing agent agent basically the oxidizing agent or reducing agent refers to the substance which is helping as you can see chromium is plus 6 is turned into chromium plus 3 so chromium plus 6 changes to chromium plus 3 by uh, decrease in the oxidation number or it is reduced but how it is reduced because it is reacting with fluoride ion so fluoride ion is actually acting like a reducing agent so always remember the substance which oxidation happen is the reducing agent or we can also say reductant and the substance which reduction happen is the oxidizing agent or oxidant. I'll give an example. See, if we have So if we have zinc reacting with copper ion and it turned into zinc ion and copper atom. If we identify the changes here, zinc which is because elements of zinc zero changes to plus two and for copper plus two change to zero. So what we call this change when zero change to plus two. So what happened to oxidation number, the charge of valency? What is oxidation number or valency here? Increase or decrease? Zero become plus two. So that is increased and if the oxidation number increase what we call this change we call this change as oxidation increase in oxidation number called oxidation addition increase in oxidation number we call oxidation and copper is plus two that becomes zero if if plus two becomes zero so it means this is a decrease the oxidation number or the valency what happened it decreases so if it decrease the oxidation number or the valency it has decreased so what we call this change we call this change as reduction so zero become plus two that's oxidation plus two becomes zero that is reduction so if they ask, identify the substance which oxidation happened or oxidized. So identify the substance. Which oxidation happened or oxidized. So which substance oxidation happened or oxidized in this example? So what we write as an answer, identify substance which oxidation happened. So it happened for zinc. So we'll write zinc. Then if you want to identify a substance, which reduction happened,
और इट इज रिड्यूस्ड सो विच सब्सटेंस इज रिड्यूस हेयर बिकॉज अ कॉपर आइन टर्न इनटू कॉपर एटम सो दैट इज रिड्यूस्ड द नेक्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट or oxidant so if you want to identify the oxidizing agent or oxidant so the substance which help in oxidation is called oxidizing agent so for zinc what happened for zinc zinc is oxidized so why zinc is oxidized because it is reacting with copper so which substance is oxidizing agent or oxidant that is copper to ion and as i mentioned the substance the oxidizing agent is a substance which help in oxidation by itself it is reduced so always remember the substance which oxidation happen that is a reducing agent and the substance which reduction happen that is an oxidizing agent so the question is identify the oxidizing agent what is oxidizing agent the oxidizing agent is a substance which reduction happen so which substance reduction happen that happen for copper so basically copper to ion is a oxidizing agent and if they ask identify the reducing agent or reductant so how we identify the reducing agent or the reductant the substance which is oxidized as you can see the reductant or reducing agent is a substance which oxidation happen so which substance oxidation occur so as we can see for zinc oxidation occur so zinc is actually a reducing agent so in short the meaning of oxidation the substance which oxidation happen is actually a reducing agent and for substance which reduction happen is actually an oxidizing agent it's a bit confusing in terms of oxidizing and reducing agent but you have to uh, learn the definition like just learn the concept of oxidation and reduction and if they are asking for oxidizing agent and reducing agent it will be opposite so for substance which oxidation happen that is a reducing agent the substance which reduction happen that is an oxidizing agent another example related to this because they asked to identify the oxidizing agent reducing agent oxidation and reduction so if we have say magnesium reacted with zinc oxide as a result it form magnesium oxide plus zinc here the first thing is uh, identifying the changes as oxidation or reduction so magnesium is there with you can identify the change in terms of electron you can identify in terms of uh, oxygen and you can also identify in terms of oxidation number or valency but oxidation number or valency is valid for all the cases so you are left with as oxygen is involved so you can use the concept of oxygen so magnesium is there mg it become mg plus uh, ox o mgo magnesium oxide so it means oxygen is added So if oxygen is added what we call this change we call this change as oxidation and yeah that's right abdullah zinc oxide was there turned into zinc so it means oxygen is removed removal of oxygen so if oxygen is removed what we call this change we call this change as reduction 
Now, so if they ask which change is oxidation or which substance is oxidized, so which substance is oxidized here when we so Mg is oxidized, that's right. Which substance is reduced? The full substance, we take the full, like this whole compound. So zinc oxide is reduced because it's a whole compound is there. That's why we are saying zinc oxide. If they ask which substance is oxidizing agent, so it's an oxidizing agent, but the substance which is reduced. So which substance is reduced is actually an oxidizing agent. So that is zinc oxide. And which substance is reducing agent? That is magnesium. So we'll write Mg. So it's easy to remember the substance which oxida is oxidized, it's actually a reducing agent. The substance which is reduced is actually an oxidizing agent. Another example. So we have iron 3 oxide, Fe2O3. It reacted with carbon monoxide. As a result, it formed 2Fe. We don't have to bother about the coefficient of the compound because that does not make difference to the final answer. We just have to check the formula for compound when we are identifying oxidation or reduction. So first it is Fe, iron was having three oxygen, then iron is not having any oxygen. Carbon was having one oxygen, then carbon is having two oxygen. So the first one, what happened? Oxygen is removed. So if oxygen is removed, what we call this? Removal of oxygen. So that we call reduction. And here addition of oxygen. So if oxygen is added, we call that as oxidation. So if I ask which substance is reduced here. This substance is reduced. So Fe2O3 is reduced. That's right. Then which substance is oxidized? We don't have to bother about what number is written. We just need a name, the compound name. Like here, compound is carbon monoxide. That's three is for balancing, but the main compound is carbon monoxide, CO. So we write, just write CO. This is, this is not the part of the compound. This means the three molecules of carbon monoxide combined, but we don't only need a formula. So CO is a, CO is oxidized. Then which substance is reducing agent here. So the substance which oxidation happen is actually a reducing agent. So which substance is a reducing agent? Carbon monoxide is a reducing agent. And 
which substance is oxidizing agent so iron 3 oxide is an oxidizing agent so fe2 o3 so these are the questions you will find uh, related to uh, the reaction so we started the topic the main topic was topic 7 is about the chemical reactions So first topic was physical and chemical changes, a change which can be reversed and no new substance form. We call that as a physical, but uh, a change in which new substance form we call that as a chemical change. Then the speed or the rate of the reaction, how much time the reactant take to form a product. It can be measured by measuring a time the cross will take to disappear or measuring the volume of the gas. And the factors which affect the rate of reaction that is concentration, particle size, catalyst, surface area and pressure. And uh, some of the chemical reactions are affected by light, we call them as photochemical reaction. Yesterday we did reversible reaction, the reaction in which the reactant can form a product and the product can decompose and form back the reactant, we call them as reversible reaction. And equilibrium means the rate of the forward reaction is equal to rate of backward reaction and there is no change in the concentration or amount we call that as reversible reaction uh, we call that as equilibrium of reversible but if forward reaction is faster we say equilibrium shifted towards right and if backward reaction is faster we say equilibrium has shifted towards left then redox oxidation and reduction can be defined in terms of oxygen in terms of electron and in terms of valency then the last was oxidizing agent are reduced and reducing agents are oxidized. Any question related to the class today as we completed topic 7? I'll share this with you, the presentation so you can copy the material.